Hi everyone, I'm Glenn Flair from Board Games in Berman. Right now I'm talking to you about a game called Barely Working. Uh, this is a game uh, that is two to four players. It says 20, 30 minutes, although it feels a lot longer and it might be longer. It says ages 10 plus. Okay, well, um, so the premise of the game. I'm going to discuss everything as if it was a child or an adult, by the way, the score. So please bear with me. The premise of the game is you have bears, and the bears are um, being auctioned off. And then once you auction them off, you're trying to achieve points from them. And then you do action phase, kind of like Uno, to steal bears and things so that by the end of five rounds, you end up with a bear with the most points you know via bears now there's five rounds in the game and each round ha really has two parts part one bears are unveiled and you use money to buy them and then you turn them in for their money or their rewards or their detriment to other people and then the second part is you're going to collect action cards and you're going to you know everyone mess them up make them skip turns block their bids and all this kind of stuff gain points lose points gain bears lose bears this kind of thing. Okay, that's really the entire game. Um, now I have a bunch of notes here and I'll try to get through them really, really fast. Okay, um, the art in the game, very, very good art. 10 out of 10 for the art. Okay, um, now here's an example, really well done bears. Now I'm talking about art alone is 10 out of 10. The graphic design is 5 out of 10. Um, the Although you can argue that it's legible, I would also argue that the print on these cards is not uh, thick enough to be seen easily. I have perfect vision. This is the player reference card, and there's three sentences, three lines of text here, and my fingernail covers it. Um, also, the text is suspect, and I'll talk about that in a second here. Um, now, okay, now let's talk about design choices. So. Some of the cards in the game, although it's a functional game, I would say are iffy. And what I mean by that is, if I'm playing with children, and by the way, this says 10 plus, I think because of the components, I don't think 10 year olds wanna be playing with teddy bears. So the, it feels like it's aimed at like six, but I don't know if six year olds can play a auction game. Um, I just tested a game called Pie Town, which even though it felt like pies are a younger theme, definitely felt like it was an adult game in, um, in complexity. Um, I don't think adults will want to play this game, okay? So to me, it's aimed at children. And if it's aimed at children, why do you have these cards in it? And I'm no prude, I get jokes, but I don't want to explain to children why there's something called Shady Bear who's flashing his trench coat open and says, I got a flash sale going on. Uh, I don't want coats open called Flash from Shady Bear, even though it shows like gold watches and things. In light of that, there's another one called the Fireman Bear, and he's like, I got a hose in Atlanta. I don't know if that's a play on words. I don't know what that means, but I don't want the word hose in my cars, especially if I have a flashing bear. There's other cards that allude to Trump, clearly with the hair and the wall, and pro-con or indifferent. I don't want politics in my cards. And then there's a big slovenly animal called the Neck Beard, you know, and he's for Bernie Sanders. Okay, thanks. I'm sure that's clever, but no, it's not. Um, I don't want to rip it. I know you're trying to be funny, okay? But I don't think this, I think it's misguided. So the design choices in this get a 5 out of 10. Um, the rule sets gets a 7 out of 10. Um, the reference card is great that's included, but it's really hard to read. The rule book is not many pages, uh, but... There are moments where it's hard to read because it's white on orange, it's glossy. Um, it also says refer to page five, but there's no page numbers or anything, so you don't know what they consider page one, so you can find page five. And some of the rules, like there's something in here called a skull card um, that are a little ambiguous. The number of victory points a player, a player what, gets, has uh, the number of victory points a player deducted at the end of the game. The number of victory points a player is deducted at the end of the game. Maybe they mean per player is deducted, but it's not worded well at minimum. And if I can't understand it and I do games uh, all the time, a kid's not going to understand it. And I should not have to cross-reference the internet for a game called Barely Working. So, but overall, 7 out of 10. Okay. Um, the build quality of the game. We'll start from the strongest parts. There's a really nice round tracker, nice thick and 
easy read, uh, really good coins in the game. They feel good in the hand. You get a wooden block to move along the wood tracker and a wood piece for player number one. And then you have the card quality itself. Oh look, here's Trump again. Um, and the card quality, the thing you're gonna interact with the most is very poor. It is substandard, unfortunately. Um, this is like prototype quality. Um, it is not final game quality, I must say. These are the type of cards that will mar very easily and bend in your hand. Uh, now let's finally talk about gameplay. And the gameplay of the game, <clears throat> because you want to be invested in a game and be invested in the outcome, you want to think about it. And so the place the thinking goes on in this game is in the auction phase. The auction phase, you have to auction off 30 bears probably in the game. That's you're debating the points versus the money you get from it. And that's where your effort goes. But it's completely obliterated by the action phase because you can get a card that even though you plan to get that bear for yourself, someone can get a card and they can steal your good bear or they can steal your money and totally undermine what you were trying. Players on the action phase can totally get hosed with cards. And I totally did not get hosed. I got the opposite. I got great cards. Uh, I got cards that gave me extra money so I could buy more bears. I got cards that said I could steal bears from other people. And I just obliterated everybody. Then there's an end game bonus, which is totally happenstance. So uh, I got a bonus for having the most bears by the end of the game. I didn't plan it that way. It just worked out. Um, also, you get a bonus for having the most money in the game. Uh, you're just going to accidentally end up with game money at the end. Because if you have a lot of money in the end, you should have just bought bears worth money. You would have been better off. So um, strategy doesn't really play into the game. And it doesn't feel good to have your stuff taken. Um, to its credit, I haven't played too many games that are auctioning followed by Uno. But I think this design needed more guidance. Um, I, I, I think it needed more guidance. Uh, so at the end of the day, I think if you're a kid... Um, and this is your only game, I think it's fine. I think if you're watching this video, it's not your only game. I think if you're an adult, you only play it again if uh, a kid wants to do it. So you'd probably give it a 4 out of 10. Sorry to say. Okay, well, anyway, that is barely working. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll talk to you later. Bye.